if you spend any amount of time inside Discord trying to create images with Midjourney, you know how time consuming it can be. And that's why I created an automation to solve this using goapi.ai, um, make.com and AI tables. So if you want to see how we did it, um, stick around and you'll get all the insights. Inside of Discord and Midjourney, we all know this forward slash imagine and then we say cute turtle or something else. And we wait and we wait and then we try and type something else um, and we wait some more and we need to generate like a hundred images and it will just take a whole day to do this. That's why we made an automation to fix this. Should we see the turtle? Yeah, we should see the turtle. Let's get back to the turtle. Moment. I have set up a um, spreadsheet here in AI tables with a column where you can add in your prompts. I can set the status. I can set the aspect ratio, the version selector, if it's uh, raw style or not. Then I get my images back inside this field called images. And I get a task ID for uh, automation purposes. We got two, two make scenarios that run this whole system. And then we got goapi.ai, which handles the communication between our automation and Discord. And there's a reason why we use these external softwares is because regular bots cannot do slash commands. And there we have it. Cute turtles. So we need Go API, and this is one of the most inexpensive um, unofficial APIs that I've found. So you can do this for 10 bucks a month for getting a bring your own key um, license here. They also have uh, paper usage. Anyways, we there's a lot of documentation on how to connect Discord into uh, Go API. Uh, I won't go into that in this video, but inside our automation, it's split in two. And the reason why it's split in two is because the first automation will generate the request, which is sent to Discord. And we can send a webhook request with that. Once the image is done, it will then trigger the second automation or the second script here, which will uh, grab all the images and put them back into AI tables, into our database here. So if you go with a cat with blue fur and say, imagine, it will then trigger this automation here. We can see that it is running. And what we do is, actually now I can't show you because it's running, um, but I can show you once this is done running, we'll go back into the script. Um, we have now triggered this script to uh, we've actually gone over into Go API. So API Go API has now triggered Discord to generate an image. Once this is done generating, it will tell or Go API will keep record uh, when it's done and trigger the automation back. So this is now done. It has now triggered the second automation, which will start running, grabbing all the images and putting them back into our database. We can actually go, don't know if we can, if we have time to see it run, but it should be running, running, running. Yeah, just grab the fourth image, uploading the image and then updating the record. And there we go, four images of cat with blue fur, come on, that's a blue cat. Let's go into the scripts and see what is happening. And they're not that like long, it's not complicated scripts per se, it's not, we don't have a lot of notes, but there is a good amount of detail going into them, why they're constructed this way. The first HTTP is uh, getting the information from our database. So we need to get the prompt the aspect ratio, the version style, so forth. So we grab that. Um, I've set this to an HTTP node 
due to the fact that we can auto deploy these scripts within uh, the uh, people who are uh, clients of mine. So if they bought into the uh, ABC platform, they can auto deploy these scripts into their own accounts. So we use HTTP nodes for that. But that is uh, grab, grab the, uh, the <clears throat> node or record information. The second one here is the post to go API. And this is for this URL. We go ahead and add the prompt, the uh, version and all that uh, stuff that we put in here, the aspect ratio, the process mode, it fast. Webhook endpoint, that would be the uh, second script that we put in here. And then I add, we can add a secret as well, which is just passing on information while it's running. So I can re-grab the, uh, the space that we need to put it back into. We then add a sleep timer. And an important note here is that we're set to sequential processing. The reason for this is that uh, as you've used mid-journey, you know that whenever you add more prompts, it will just queue up. Um, so we need to have a humanized cadence to adding prompts into the system because else um, Discord and Midjourney will overload. Actually not Discord, it's Midjourney that due to the rate limits on one's account, it can't keep up. So this is uh, three concurrent fast generations, which means that I've set the delay to 25 seconds. If you have a pro account, you can of course reduce the delay. It starts running, posts this to Discord. Discord says, I'm done now. Go API triggers the uh, webhook for the second script. And the second script looks like this. So here we get the information back from Go API. We have all our API keys. I won't open that one. We then search. We need to find that specific record. So we search by the task ID. That's why I added the task, task ID here so we can find this specific record again. We find that specific record um, in order to upload the images and add the images to that specific record. So all this does, this is an iterator. We get the, um, the URLs back from go here. We get the URLs back here in the, where do I, is it? There we go. Image URLs as an array. And in here, we get four images back. These are all upscaled. We iterate over those four images. We download them. We upload them to AI tables. We package them into a nicely formatted array. And we then upload that array of images into our record. And it looks like we just showed. So now we can start generating all these images. And you could imagine that this is one step or the first step to fully automating image generation for your blog posts. So if you have a content generation system, you can then start to integrate this part or this uh, automation into that um, content generation system and automatically generate images for your blog posts, for your social media posts, etc. Let me just exit this and I'll just pause for a second and see how these are running. We now see that we're starting to get the images back here. So orange cat is done. This one has started. Lava fur is getting there. So we have lava fur, green fur, and we can see in here that these are processing. We can see these are getting back. So now we have green fur. I don't know, is that a leaf cat? Ah, leafy cat. And this is a kind of green thingy. So you can see how easy it is to queue up a lot of images for generation. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye.